It's your boy Code Hova with Fly Combinator. We're pimping Swift. We're going to be talking about functions with return value. All right. So before we were doing like uh, function calls where simple prints were being made within the function. But what, what are you going to do if you need a function to do something and give you something back in return? So that's what we're going to deal with. That's a function with a return value. All right. So let's just say we have a constant of the, num the pound pounds of cookies we got. All right. And the cookie elbow price. So two integers, two different numbers. All right. So we have a function and let's call calculate price, calculate order price. All right. So we're going to have an open parentheses and we're going to have to give it the parameters and we're going to give it pounds, which is an int and also price, which is also an int. And this is what we have, an open and curly brace, but we want it to give us back a number. And that number is going to be the total cost that this transaction is going to be. And the way we do that is by doing this. So if you're going to have a return value on any function, you're going to have a dash and a greater than symbol. And you're going to tell it, you're going to tell the computer, the compiler, what type it's going to be. And because we're we're going to multiply the pounds times the price, we're going to multiply an int with an int. The return value we're going to get back is also an int. And right now, the compiler is telling us, yo, you're missing the return value. So what we need to do is this. So we're going to say create a new constant. Total cost equals pounds multiplied by price. And once we have this total cost, we're going to write the keyword return total cost. So that is the function with two parameters and also a return type. So if we're going to say total cost is going to equal calculate order price. And the pounds we got is pounds of cookies pounds of cookies times the cookie elbow price. And once we got that, let's print this out. Print. So we're going to use string interpolation. So we're going to have, we have pounds of cookies. Pounds of cookies and the price of cookie elbow price per pound totaling to total cost. All right, so let's run this. It says we have 10 pounds of cookies instead of with, with the price of, let's add a dollar sign, per pound totaling to, let's run that. So it's going to say we have 10 pounds of cookies with the price of 2,500 per pound totaling to 2,500, 25,000. So again, that is a function taking two parameters with the return. So let's just say, let's just say, uh, so this is one example. Let me, let me get, show you another one. So let's say we have a function called reverse and we're going to say name string and it's going to return a string value, open and close parentheses. And what we're going to do is let reversed name equals name dot reversed and we're going to return that reversed name all right so we could even run functions in a print statement so we're going to print reverse code hova all right let's run this all right so it's telling us we can't do this mm. 
this. We need a return a type string. So what do I have to do to this? Hmm hmm hmm. I wasn't expecting it to. All right, let, let's just do this instead. I, I don't want to deal with this right now. Uh, so let's just say lowercase the name. All right, and I'm gonna give it code hova. So let me update this lowercase name and let me run it. All right, that's what it did. So this function, it's gonna, we call it lowercase and we're gonna give it the parameter of name and we're gonna give it a string and we're returning a string value. So we gave, you know, I, there there's different conventions when you go to different places and really it's up to you. You, you might want to create a new constant and then return that new constant or you could simply just do this. So we could just get rid of this and you could just return that. It's up to you. It does the same thing. But sometimes it's, uh, some people like it like this because it's less code. Some people like it like that because it, it when you're reading this function, you, you're knowing, you're understanding step by step of what's going on. Like right now, this example, it's very simple. It's just one line of code. But when you have a function that has numerous things happening inside, sometimes when you're explicit like this, it could, it could uh, help you understand exactly what's happening step by step. And it might be help easier to debug. But anyways, that's here nor there. It's your boy code Hova. We just learned functions with return values. Uh, this is just an overview of how it's done. Once we proceed on, we're gonna be getting in depth in it and we're gonna know exactly how to become pros in this shit. And that's the whole point. Let's get it. Yiddig.